Solomon, Simon the Sorcerer. Acts chapter 8, verses 9 through 25. Now for some time a man named Simon had per, uh, per practiced sorcery in the city and amazed all of the people of Samaria. He boasted that he was someone great, and all the people, both high and low, gave him their attention and exclaimed, This man is rightly called great, the, the great power of God. What the? Okay. They probably had a little bit of ego, too. Like busting by him because I'm being so ungrown. Hmm. They followed him because he had amazed them for a long time with his sorcery. But when they believed Philip, as he proclaimed the good news of the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Simon himself believed and was baptized, and he followed Philip everywhere, astonished by great signs and miracles he saw. This guy did sorcery, sorcery, and blew people away. The, just the things Philip did blew him away. Imagine if this guy saw Jesus. When the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Simon had accepted the word of God, they sent Peter and John to Samaria. When they arrived, they prayed for the new believers there that they might receive the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit had not yet come on them, on any of them. They had simply been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus. Oh, Sometimes it's the Lord Jesus Christ, sometimes the Lord Jesus, sometimes the Lord Christ. Yeah. Then Peter and John placed their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. When Simon saw the Spirit, that the Spirit was given at the laying of the apostles' hands, he offered them money. And said, Give me also this ability, so everyone on whom I lay my hand may receive the Holy Spirit. Peter answered, May your money perish with you, because you thought you could buy the gift of God with money. <laughs> Contrast, God, Jesus doing... Well, same person. Doing real miracles, this guy doing fake, a false messiah, in a way, and leading people down for a path. But turning to God. <clears throat> you have no part in or share in this ministry because your heart is not in the right, not right before God. Repent of this wickedness and pray to the Lord in hope, in the hope that. He might forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. <clears throat> for I see that you are full of bitterness and captive to sin. Then Simon answered, Pray to the Lord for me, so that nothing you have said may happen to me. After they had further proclaimed the word of the Lord and testified about Jesus, Peter and John returned to Jerusalem preaching the gospel in many Samaritan villages.